fifth of Ayar in the Hebrew calendar is Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day. Like the 4th of July in the United States, the holiday commemorates the day that Israel declared itself an independent nation in the Jewish year 5708. The date in the Western calendar was May 14, 1948. The holiday, which falls on May 8th and 9th in 2019, a day earlier than the 5th of Ayar to avoid any conflict with Shabbat, is the last of a series of three special post-Passover yamim, or days, that within a week each year commemorate the birth of the modern state of Israel from the ashes of the Holocaust. Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Remembrance Day, the 27th of Nisan, which recalls the lost six million. Yom HaZikaron, Memorial Day, the 4th of Iyar, which honors Israel's nearly 24,000 fallen soldiers and its 3,150 victims of terrorism, and Yom Ha'atzma'ut. The Declaration of Independence that David Ben-Gurion read in Tel Aviv on that Friday afternoon in May 1948 was pieced together over the previous month by a small group of lawyers and politicians. The U.S. Declaration of Independence and Constitution were used as philosophical frameworks. The Declaration summarizes Jewish history and states Israel's intentions toward its inhabitants, its neighbors, and the international community. It is divided into four parts a biblical, historical, and international legal case for the existence of a Jewish state in the land of Israel, the self-evident right of the Jewish people to claim statehood, the actual declaration of statehood, and statements about how the state will operate, including the rights of its citizens. In keeping with the UN Partition Resolution for Palestine in November 1947, the declaration states the intention to enact a constitution, although that objective was postponed indefinitely in June 1950. Without a constitution, the Declaration's phrase, guaranteeing freedom of religion, conscience, language, education, and culture, serves as the foundation for civil liberties in Israel. The Israeli and American Declarations of Independence feature noteworthy similarities. Both were issued amid warfare, although the American Revolution consisted largely of skirmishes through July 1776, while Israel had been fighting irregular Arab and Palestinian forces since January 1948. Both declarations assert independence and the right of their populations to control their own destinies, free from despotic abuses. Both seek self-determination, liberty, and freedom based on human and natural rights. Both promise safeguards for the individual and proclaim an interest in commerce or economic growth. The Israeli declaration, however, includes a long history of Jewish catastrophes and claims to the land, as well as recent history. It highlights the international community's support for the Jewish state's legitimacy, particularly the acknowledgement given to a Jewish national home by the League of Nations in 1922 and the United Nations in 1947. The U.S. Declaration could cite no outside authority for independence. The Israeli Declaration offers peace and amity to its neighbors and seeks to return to the ways of peace. Both declarations reference a higher authority but in different ways. The American document appeals to the Supreme Judge, Protection of the Divine, The Israeli Declaration avoids a precise mention of religion for fear of social fragmentation over differences in practice. So it closes with Ben-Gurion's compromise between secular and religious pressures. Trust in the Rock of Israel. Israel. The National Council accepted the final text after some debate May 14th, and 37 men and women, representing all political parties, summoned the declaration. Ben-Gurion, the council's head and soon to be Israel's first prime minister, read the declaration at 4 p.m. at the Tel Aviv Museum. The ceremony was broadcast live on the radio, but because Jerusalem was without electricity, few there heard Ben-Gurion's words or the playing of Hatikva, the new nation's unofficial anthem, by the Palestine Philharmonic. That morning, Ben-Gurion, uncertain about the coming war with the Arab states, had his secretary secure a safe deposit box at a bank to keep the declaration safe. Eight hours after he read the document, the Egyptian Air Force dropped its first bombs on the outskirts of Tel Aviv. The War of Independence lasted until early 1949. See the following links for more information.